Hey everybody and welcome to Ages Cozy Crochet Corner where today on the corner we're going to be making these lovely little gift bags for Valentine's Day. I've made so many of these bags for my children's classroom and they're so cute. I plan to stuff them with little candies and such just for them to have uh, for Valentine's Day and I wanted to show you all how to make them. So let's get right started with this simple pattern. So I'm going to be using this two colors. This one is going to be for my heart and this is going to be for the rest of the bag. Um, we're going to use a yarn needle to weave in our ends and scissors. And we're also going to need a five millimeter hook. Now this is medium four wasted yarn. And as you see, I don't need much of either in order to complete this. And the method that I'm going to use is going to be low weaving in end. So we're going to keep it very minimum with the cutting of our yarn. Okay. So we're going to just begin with a basic granny square. Um, our first two rows will be done with this color. So I'm going to get my yarn on my hook and secure it. And then we're going to chain three. Going into the first chain on our hook, we're going to grab our yarn and we're going to make a slip stitch. See, I'm grabbing the back and we're going to slip stitch right through there. I'm going to chain up three. Now, right into this little circle that we've created, I'm going to make two more double crochets and this is our first cluster of three double crochets I want to chain one and go right back into my circle and I'm working over my ends as I go I'm going to make three more double crochet And we're going to chain one. Again, working over our ends. We're going to go right back into the circle and make three more double crochet. And chain one. Going back into the circle, we'll make three more double crochets. And chain one. Now that we've completed all of that, we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three that we begin with. One, two, and three. Grab our yarn and pull it through. We're now going to chain up three more. And we're going to go right into this corner that's right here. I'm going to yarn over. We're going to go into that corner and place two double crochets. We have our first cluster of three double crochets in this row. This will be a corner. We'll finish it when we come back around. We're then going to find our first chain one space, our next chain one space, and we're going to go in there and place three double crochets. We're going to chain one and we're going to go right back into that same corner and place three more double crochets. We find our next chain one space right here and we're going to go in there and place three double crochets and chain one and go right back into that same chain one space and place three more 
double crochets. We'll find our next chain one space and we're going to go in and place three double crochets. Chain one and go right back in and place three more double crochets. And now we come back to this last chain one space is also is where we begin. We're going to finish off that corner by going into that chain one space and placing three double crochets. Chain one and then we're going to slip stitch at the top of the chain three we begin with. And we're going to chain three and we're going to go right back into this corner and make two more double crochets. We have our first cluster of three in this row. We'll finish that off when we come back around. We're going to go into this first pocket space right here. And we're going to place three double crochets. Now I've placed two so far on my last one. I'm going to change color. So I'm going to yarn over, go into the space, grab my yarn and take off two. Now normally I would grab my yarn and take off two more, but we're going to change colors here. So I'm just going to drop this one. And I'm going to bring in my next color. I want to leave a good tail so I can weave that in later on. I'm just going to place this one on my hook and pull it through. Now I have that one hanging in the back. I want to grab my pink and lay my pink down. So I want to carry both of these yarns with me as we go through this row. So now that I have my gray on my hook, I want to yarn over and I'm going to place my hook into this corner and I'm going to make another corner with the gray. So we're going to go in, grab our gray yarn. Remember we, we working over our pink yarn and make a double crochet and we'll make two more. chain one and then we're going to go back into this corner and do three more double crochets but the last one we're going to change colors so i have two and we're going to go in and make our last one but we're only going to take off two we're going to have two more on our hook like that and we're going to drop our gray color and we're going to pick our pink color that we've been carrying in the back with us now I'm going to add that on my hook and I'm going to pull it through finishing that last double crochet. Give a little pull to my gray one and my gray one is going to sit right here because I'm going to work over it. And then we're going to start the next one, that next space right there. We're going to start that with our pink. And we're going to make three double crochets. But on the last one, we're going to switch colors again. So I'm going to yarn over, go in, grab my yarn and come up. Take off two loops and drop my pink yarn and pick up my gray. Add my gray to my hook and then take off the last two with the gray. Right, so now I'm going to be working over the pink again. See, so I lay the pink here. And yarn over with the gray and then we'll do this corner with the gray so we'll make three double crochets a 
we'll chain one and go right back into the corner and make three more double crochets. Now that third one, on the third one, we're going to be changing colors. So I have two. And I'm going to go back in and make half of my third one. Drop that yarn, pick up the pink that we've been carrying. And finish off the last two with the pink. Remembering to put our gray right behind so we can work over it. Now I'm going to go into my next space in between my clusters right there and I'm going to make three double crochets mm -hmm. still carrying the gray place it right behind it and I'm going to go into this corner and I'm going to make three double crochets I'm going to chain one and I want to go right back into that corner and make three more double crochets. But we'll be changing colors on the third one. So on the third one, we want to go in, grab our yarn, come up, take off two, and drop our pink, pick up our gray, and we'll take off two with the gray. Now I want to go into my next space in between my clusters and I'm going to make three double crochets. We'll be changing colors again. So the third double crochet, we'll go in, grab our yarn, come up, take off two and then drop the gray and pick up the pink and we'll take off the last two with the pink. Yarning over with the pink, we're gonna go into our last corner and finish up that corner. Still working over the gray. So one double crochet, go back in, two, and the third one we wanna change colors again, so we're gonna go into that corner, grab our yarn, come up, take off two, Drop the pink, and we're going to pick up the gray and finish in the gray. And chain one with the gray. We're then going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three where we begin. And then we're going to chain up three. Now we'll solely be dealing with the gray, and we are done with the pink. So I'm going to leave enough space so I... I leave enough yarn so I can weave in my ends and we are done with the pink so now we want to go back into this corner right here and we're going to make two more double crochets we have our first cluster of three double crochets for this row and now our in between each cluster of three will be placing three more double crochets. Into the next one, three more double crochets. And into our corner, we'll place three double crochets. Chain one and right back into that same corner, three more double crochets. And again, we'll keep that up all the way around into our spaces in between our clusters of three. We want to put three double crochets. The next one, three double crochets. Mm 
and our corner gets three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. Chain one and So I'm going to keep this up, this pattern in between each of the clusters. We'll put three double crochets here, three double crochets here, into our corner, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, and in between our clusters, three double crochets, and right here, three double crochets. And I'll come back in and we'll end off this row together. And now we're back to our last corner. So we are going to work the other half of that corner where we place three double crochets. Chain one and we're going to slip stitch into the top chain three that we begin with. And then I'm going to chain one and pull this through. First we have to cut our yarn. And we're going to go ahead and pull that through. And there we have it, our heart. Now you can use this heart for so many different things. And if you want to, you can just keep going around in the way that I've shown you to make this bigger. We're going to stick with this heart right now to make these cute little bags. Now we need two pieces. So you can make either an identical piece like this with the heart in it for the other side. Or you can just do all one color. I'm going to be doing all one color. So go ahead and, and make the same piece or just use the same method without the color change to make another granny square. Okay, so I have made my solid granny square in the same way, uh, four rows. And what I want to do now is I want to make sure that I put my granny square heart like this, right? Because we're going to be working and sewing this on together, but I need this to be faced up and I need this to be faced up. So I want the right sides on the outside because our join will be on the outside. But always be careful with your granny square heart because we're working down around and up here this will be the opening so you want to make sure your heart is facing the right way when beginning you see how the heart is facing yep so i'm going to and when i made this of course i did not cut off we're going to just continue on that's how we have less ends to weave in i'm going to chain up one just to give me the space to Go back around and we're going to add this on with a simple single crochet. I'm going through the corner on the back piece and I'm going through the corner on the front piece. And we're just going to match stitches going all the way down. What I do in the front, I want to be doing in the back making a single crochet. Where I am in the front is where I want to be in the back making a simple single crochet. So we're going to do this all the way around, just leaving the top, which is this side, open. So we're only joining three sides. Put our single crochets. In the front and the back in the same place. If I'm on the first one in one cluster I should be on the first one and the next one and so forth with the second and with the third now right here I've come to my first corner what I want to do is go inside that corner to and make two single crochets chain one and then go back into that same corner and place two single co crochets into that corner so that's two single crochets chain one two single crochets 
and then we'll go right back into finding the first cluster here the first double crochet here and the first double crochet in the back and making that single crochet and we'll keep that up all the way around when we get to this corner right here we'll do the same exact thing as we've done in this corner and we'll end in this corner and I'll come back in on that corner okay so I am at my corner at the top I want to go through my corner with a single crochet so everything is closed except for that very top now the gray that we ended off with on this granny square should be at the top if yours is not you'll just have to weave that in later but because mine is on the top i will be uh working over it now we're going to chain up three right where we are and let's see i got my thing right here i'm going to go into the corner and we're going to work a double crochet into the corner and then we start at our clusters and we're going to work one double crochet all the way around this piece working into the corners as well I'm working over this end as far as I can go so I don't have to worry about weaving that in later on. Now I come here, I'm always to the end. I want to go into the corner. And make a double crochet in the corner now you have this join right here now on this side we begin with the chain three right off of that join so we'll be able to tell when we are done our bags so we want to make sure we go into that first single crochet on our join and place a double crochet there as well and then go right back into our corner and continue on until we come to the next side And then I want to go inside my last corner and slip stitch into the top of the chain three that we begin with. I have 30 double crochets. I'm going to chain up three. And now we just want to go into every double crochet and place another double crochet right on top of it. It should be a total of 30 double crochets okay so I am at the end so I'm gonna slip stitch into the top of the chain three that I began with and then I'm going to chain four now I'm chaining four because the three stands for our double crochet and the one is going to chain stand for a chain one space because we're gonna chain one and skip a stitch all the way around so my next stitch, we're going to skip that one. And the following stitch, we're going to place a double crochet. Then we're going to chain one. We're going to skip that stitch. And then the next one, we're going to make a double crochet. Chain one, skip that stitch. And then the next one, 
make a double crochet and we'll do this all the way around chain one skip a stitch and go into the next stitch chain one skip a stitch and go into the next stitch chain one skip a stitch and go into the next stitch and what we're doing here is just creating the holes that we're going to be placing our handles in So now I am at the end, I'm skipping this stitch. So I want to slip stitch into the top of the chain through four that we begin with. I want to count three, one, two, three, because we don't want to go on that fourth one because that fourth one is holding a place of a chain one space. And now I'm going to chain three. This our last row. We're going to go inside every chain one space and place a double crochet. And then we'll go inside of our double crochets and place a double crochet in between our chain one spaces and in top of the double crochets all the way around okay so I've gotten back to the beginning so I want to slip stitch into the top of the chain three that I began with and I'm just gonna cut my yarn and chain one pull through and the little baggie is done being put together. Now we just have to make the little strings that we're going to feed in, okay? So let's use our color that we began with. We'll go back to this pink. Okay, so we're going to be making strings like this. I chained about 55. You can chain more if you would like. Um, but I chained about 55 for this. So you just want to take your color that you're using and just my hook around and secure my hook on to my yarn. And I'm going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 8, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. And then we're just going to cut it. And chain one, pull through, and then pull that down tight. And we need two of these once we have both of them. I like to start on my back and I like to start with the last one and um, with the first one in the back on the side because you want it to be coming out at the sides and you're just going to feed it through up and down up and down up and down all the way around back to where you started from. And you should come out back where you started from. Okay. And then you're just going to do the same thing going the opposite way. So I don't want mine to come out. Yeah, it'll just stay right here. So I'm just going to start with the other one on the other side. And, oh, nope. Okay. And feed it up and around. I'm working one I've already worked in. I'm working below the other one because I don't want them to twist on each other. All right. And again, this one should come out the exact same place that it started. And then I just tie these like this. And 
and the other side as well. And when cutting them, I just like to cut right about there, just to give it a little, it only has a little piece left. And that is it. So we can pull it. And it does this cute little closey thing. And that's it. Uh, when we're weaving in our ends, as you see, we don't have any ends on the outside. We only have this one right here. And open it up and let's flip it on the inside. Uh, this is where we started and we already worked over that one. So I just snipped that one off here too. We worked over to where it started. So we just have, we just have these two right here and, and this one, right? That should be three ends to weave in on a cute little uh, project. That sounds about perfect to me. Uh, and I punched out so many of these. I, this has always been a fun thing to do, but I've never made them for a whole class. But I made one for a whole class, and it took me little to no time, especially with the weaving ends wasn't an issue <laughs> because there wasn't that many of them. So, you all, I hope you enjoy this. And, again, you can make this square to do quite a few different things if you Look on my page. I do have the tutorial for just the granny square. And as always, and look at the little colors. Um, so as always, you all, thank you for coming to the corner. And I'll see you in the comment section.